Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. God bless. I love and appreciate you all so very much. Thank you to Sally and Sonia for starting what you did because we have now been able to purchase more options to battle the multiple myeloma. I am eternally grateful for that. There's a lot yet to go, but this is definitely a wonderful starting point. When I was diagnosed in 2021, It's a tough one. When I came home that day, Janet was outside. And I asked her to sit down on the stoops with me and I told her, and we cried. But we also started discussing our options. Treatment options, pharmaceutical complex options. I didn't realize that Janet on that day basically started digging into alternative options and praise the Lord that she started doing that because a few months after I was diagnosed the bone pain was so bad that the doctors and the oncologists we set up a plan uh, it's I don't remember the exact order that it goes in, but you get the diagnosis, then you go see an oncologist, you set up a plan, then you execute the plan. It's something along those lines. The first treatment that I got was a beam radiation. And it was below my neck to my waist and from shoulder to shoulder. And it was strictly to alleviate pain. At least that's the option I had for multiple myeloma. For eight to ten days after that, I couldn't sleep. I had this electrical current running through my body. It was absolutely terrible. I will never do it again. But still being afraid, not knowing what there was out there to actually fight cancer, only hearing what the treatment options were, I got into doing the radio immunotherapy. That was another terrible decision. I didn't know better. I do now. Absolutely destroyed my way of life. I felt sluggish, constantly tired and beat up. It took everything I had in me just to get up, to go to work every day, even on the weekends, just to get out of bed. Now I know every the way everybody reacts to certain treatments is different. And the doctor and the oncologist had their plans set before me, and this is what we were going to do. And the word treat keeps popping into my head. Treat, 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 treat. Treat the cancer. No, I don't want to treat it. I want to kill it. I want to defeat it. I want to get past it. I tried so many different pharmaceutical treatments that destroyed my body. My muscles are atrophying. And I don't feel sorry for myself. I can speak about this with a smile on my face because I know God's got it. I believe that wholeheartedly. I will never back down from that no matter what. I am eternally grateful to Sonia and Sally for starting what you did to raise money. So we will be able to purchase options things that the FDA say don't work won't work things that mainstream information will tell you 
that doesn't work. This is, uh, what do they say? It's snake oil. One of these options that I've been using that my awesome wife found a couple years ago. I can't speak about it on video. Um, not on this platform because I've been flagged. I've had comments removed. But it works. If it wasn't for that, I, I would be bedridden 100%. But we only had so much. And we can only push so far. And yes, this option can be extremely uncomfortable. It gets into the bone marrow and drives the cancer out from there. There are also something called a Rife machine. I don't have an explanation handy right now. It's spelled R-I-F-E. Thank you to all the people who have been so kind and generous and for all your prayers that today my wife and I are going to be able to sit down and purchase one. We've also been able to obtain more of the treatments where I can actually go through every protocol necessary. And there are some other supplements and options that we are getting which help battle the mus muscle atrophy, the bone pain, the nausea, which has been pretty bad for about five weeks. I do get my few reprieves and those are your prayers. My mind can't fathom and can't wrap itself around the kindness and generosity of others. I had a very dark past. And the fact that people are family in Christ would step into the gap with prayer and kindness and generosity. It moves me beyond words. What a wonderful God we serve. Sometimes my brain feels like it's been through a blunder and this is one of those mornings. But Sonia had given me the idea to make this video. So hopefully it wasn't too all over the place. I'm going to get into work, take my mind off things for a little bit. But I am grateful. And I love you and thank you. God bless.